Welcome back to another episode of Coffee with the President. Today I'm joined by Andrew Foster, Vice President for Student Services at Albertus. Andrew, welcome. Thank you, Dr. Camille. Uh, nice to be here. I've been anxious to have this conversation because our semester is, uh, what, a month and a half or so underway, and clearly there is a buzz about the campus. I hear the residence halls are full. Uh, what magic, is, you know, are your staff and you uh, have underway right now? Because the place is just hopping. You talk about our residence halls. Oh, my goodness. We have Dominican Hall, which is a hall where we have all our first-year students, is actually to capacity. In fact, we had to convert one of our study lounges into a room. So that's exciting. Mm -hmm. It really helps with creating, creating a community. Um, people are really engaged. We did a lot of deliberate sort of enhancements this year to the halls, not just Dominican Hall, as I mentioned, but pretty much all of our residential facilities received some sort of a facelift in mm -hmm. some cases and mm -hmm. some sort of an upgrade. Um, and a lot of this was from listening to the students, hearing them talk about some of the things they would like to have to make the experience more homey, okay. more sort okay. of a comfortable environment for them. And so we did add some, some amenities this year that I think that students have really connected with. Um, we were up um, 30 new residents this year. Um, so, as you say, we're almost at capacity, mm -hmm. and so I think that puts us somewhere around 90% of our students are living on campus. So that's one of the things that I think is creating that buzz on campus, and our students are benefiting from being on you campus. You know, when I walk the campus, I've kind of observed it myself, but as I've run into different faculty members and some of our staff, and they've talked about how this year the students seem to be even more engaged, more involved. Talk a little bit about how you all are approaching that. Starting in right off the bat after new student orientation, we really blitz the campus with programs pretty much every night for the first three weeks, which mm -hmm. is a different event and activity. And we've continued that into actually now two months in. Um, we're still getting quite a good reception from our students um, with the various events and things that we've offered. One of the exciting thing about that is a number of events such as, you know, a bus out into the Big E, for instance, we end up sort of having to order extra buses as a result of the demand um, for those kind of programs. So we're really excited about that. We've brought in some additional um, grad assistants and some new different human resources, um, peer professionals this mm -hmm. year to really work with our students and connect um, with them. Um, and a number of those grad assistants now actually live on campus. So they're part of the community with the students. And I think it's that sort of um, having those peer connections is helping students to sort of say, you know, I, I want to get more involved. I want to be part of what's happening here in this whole student services. The efforts that your team uh, are putting in to create opportunities for our students to get involved and to be engaged in the life of the campus. They're, they're paying off. I mean, whether it's over in the Starbucks area and seeing students milling about, sitting having coffee, or walking through the dining hall area, uh, you know, they just seem to be, as I said, there's kind of a sense of buzz and excitement going on on this campus. One of the things that we've observed with students is they like to have some control of their experience. They like to be able to can have the opportunity where they can pick and choose. And so having, um, and we rolled out this year a new dining plan, you mm -hmm. know, for instance, where students get to customize their meal preference based on um, the amount of meals they might mm -hmm. eat in a given mm -hmm. week. And in addition to that, having the, the um, dining dollars option. So going to Starbucks or deciding to um, eat in a dining hall and also have some retail mm -hmm. option outside of the dining hall is really giving students that um, ability to um, create their own sort of preferences as they move forward. And I think some of those kind of things is what we realize students really like. I'll take the opportunity to say thank you. I know that you and your team are doing great work and there is no question in my mind that the, the sense of student life and activity on this campus is thriving right now. So I, I'm grateful for all you do. My pleasure. This wraps up another episode of Coffee with the President. I look forward to being with you again soon. Thanks.